girl, stop lying to yourself. You needed this. Hey guys, welcome back for another Courageous Conversation. As you can tell from the title, I just want you to stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself that you are okay because you're not, you're not. And obviously from today's video, I did not put out um, a poll because usually you guys always help me out with choosing what topic you wanna talk about, but I knew that this topic um first of all i was kind of like at a block of what to got to ask you guys because a lot of times my inspiration juices are flowing and i try to get a vibe from you all from the last one and i did get a vibe from you all the last time we were together and it was mostly that a lot of people are are in overwhelm especially from a setback to a comeback my goodness i so appreciate you guys for commenting leave your comments always down below whether it's something inspirational or you need inspiration you need to be poured into definitely leave it down in the comments so in today's video we are going to talk about self-care because I know a lot of us especially as working women whether you're single and you're helping um, and Elling like family member your mom your dad um, your uncle you've taken out time you spent money you know you have kids you have a kid with special needs you have a husband that is ill you need to take time out for you and so when I was thinking about this it was like the Holy Spirit was just leading me in this area that there are so many women that are burnt out that they're on E okay and the gasoline tank has gone beyond not even having gasoline. You don't even have any fuel to give to anybody else. You're burnt out, you're frustrated, and you're taking it out on other people. You're taking it out on your kids, your family members, people that you love that don't deserve that exertion and that anger and that frustration. We call it frustration, but the truth of the matter is sometimes we're angry at the situation. We're angry at ourselves for how we handle the situation. And so innocent people are hurt along the way. And so I wanted to come today and let you know it's time to give yourself a rest. In today's video, I'm going to share some things that I actually use at home because I do believe in an at-home routine and at-home ritual that you should do because that is the place that you dwell. It's a place that um, you want to have some peace and serenity because when we don't have peace at home, everywhere else will be chaos. Okay, so it starts at home. I think that it's great to go to church i think it's great to have that um that place of refuge to go to church but the truth of the matter is is that if we don't have peace in our homes we take those attitudes to work we take those attitudes to church that we actually have to ask god to really like detox us and create in us a clean heart and renew that right spirit within us and if we have those practices at home if we pray at home if we're praying you know with our children we're praying with our spouse if we're praying with our boyfriend or fiance because I did do that when I was dating so just don't think only married people should pray together I think that it's important to build that prayer life with your spouse with your boyfriend with your fiance even in those stages because you figure out who you're who you're marrying who you're with is that person a prayer warrior they don't have to but are they connecting with god you know what i'm saying so in today's video i definitely want to hit some key points and just to prove a point i think everything here is either drugstore mostly it's drugstore and it's affordable i want to show you some of the products that i'm using i will leave a link down below these are all things i believe i want to say under thirty dollars okay and i only have the only reason why i'm saying thirty dollars is because one of these products is probably closer to the thirty dollar range but i want you to be able to sit back relax this is a get ready with me this is a get unready with me this is a get chill with me video that's what that is so let's get started 
Okay, so first of all, what I am going to do is use the micellar Garnier Active. This is eye remover pads, but it's micellar water, so I'm gonna use it all over my face. I've already, I already have clean skin, but I am going to use these because these are super small, by the way, but so I'm gonna use two. So I'm just gonna chill and relax with you guys and talk with you all and have our courageous conversation. I hope you are pulling out your relaxation products. I want you to really, really hone in and listen to what the, I feel like the Spirit of God is saying to all of us. And a lot of times when I am thinking about what to talk about with you guys and really give service to those that are watching is I ask God, I'm like, Lord, what do the viewers need? What do the people that are going to watch this, what are they going to need? And a lot of us don't take out time for ourselves. I know we don't want to seem like we're selfish. And there's a difference between being selfish and being able to make sure that you're restored so you can serve other people. I hope there's a point between that because there is a spirit behind selfishness, but there's also a spirit behind a person that's overworked, underpaid, and is frustrated and has not been poured into. And let's just get it out there. A lot of pouring when it comes to you really taking care of yourself is you dealing with yourself, okay? Nobody can take better care of you than God and you. At the end of the day, that's all that may even be there. We have no guarantees. At the end of the day, you need to take care of you for more service. And you have to service yourself. <laughs> oh, this is pretty tight. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just got out of the shower. And let me just say, my skin feels so soft after that face mask. I wanted to share with you guys what I use in the shower and this is all drugstore. This is the foaming oil moisturizing body wash. This is amazing for not only washing your body, cleansing your body, but it's also great for shaving your legs. And I really like it because it nourishes the skin and it leaves it very, very nice. Before I go in to, I cleanse with this and then before I go in to shave my legs, I use this. This is the Soap and Glory Buff and Ready. It is, it foams up, but it also has the exfoliators in it. So I exfoliate first because you will get the cleanest shave by exfoliating. I'll leave everything down below, like I said, but Soap and Glory, I love their body care. I don't have their lotion. I just ran out of the lotion and that is the Righteous Butter or you can get the, well, I like all of theirs, but my favorite is the Righteous Butter and the Buttercream, but this is so good. And also for the Feminine Wash, I have the Feminine Wipes that I've shared with you guys in empties. I'm gonna link that video because those wipes are the truth. I actually have them over there in like my hygiene box um, with my necessities. But this is actually the body wash form of those wipes. This is the Summer's Eve Lavender Nighttime Cleansing Wash. And it has a great fragrance, but it's no dye in here. It's um, with essential oils, it gently, this is free from dyes and parabens, and it gently cleans and freshens. So I wanted to tell you guys, in the shower, or even when you're taking care of yourself, whole bodily, it can be from the drugstore. I get this from Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't, or Amazon, you can get those from these. I don't see it anywhere else anymore, but those two places you can. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the face products. Now, I'm gonna list everything down below. I can tell you guys what I'm using, but I really wanna get into the conversation and really talk about some self-care. So I have my notes on my phone. So I know many of you would like, like say, girl, give me a break. I know that I need to take care of myself, but hear me out. This is just, I want to bring some points to you about taking care of yourself. And one of the first points that I want to make about this is I always wonder that in the book of Genesis, when it talks about creation, the creation, 
and the creation of man, everything that God had made and what he had done every single day. And then it says at the seventh day he rested. It made me think about it. And I really believe that in thought, when I was thinking about this, I was like, God rested. That means we should rest. I think that it's important for us to get that rest because it's important for our bodies our bodies naturally go to sleep and the sleep cycle of the day is really to recharge our bodies for the next day it's like an engine you keep going but it ensures that you don't burn out so i was always wondering about that I also want you to know that it's okay for other people to pour into your life and give. I know quite a few people who are in service and service other people are very offended when someone tries to give something to them. Um, I even know some people that complain about not being given things to or given time to or poured back into after their service. But then when someone tries to, they have phrases like, no, I'm good no you didn't have to do that or you know what thanks but no thanks or you brush it off even when it comes to our spouses when they're trying to pour back into us after they've seen our hard work and then we kind of brush it off as an easy thing take that time if they're trying to do something for you be okay let me put it like this you are blocking their blessings when you don't allow them to pour into you why it says give and it shall be given good measure pressed down shaken together and running over shall men given to your bosoms okay so men are giving that and you have to receive you have to be open of course it also says that you do unto others as you would have them to do unto you those things are going to come back to you that good service that those kind things that you've done I totally believe with all of my heart that those things come back to you. So when you put out service, when you put out those good things, good things are supposed to happen to you. You are worthy. You are deserving of those things. And don't feel like you're any less of a person that, you know what, I'm going to give, I'm going to give, I'm going to give, but I am not worthy to receive. No, it's a revolving door. God wants to let you see that you are as much as a blessing as you are blessing others. So allow people to pour into you, pour into yourself that you can fill up the cup and you can pour into someone else again. It's a revolving door. I just want to encourage you guys to do that. It's so important that you take care of yourself. As mothers, you have to take care of yourself. Just think if you were sick for an entire week. You still have to function, okay? Get your rest. I am guilty even of not getting enough rest sometimes. And my husband's like, listen, you have to take care of yourself, Melissa, because this family is not only depending on you, but we want you to, he was like, you know what? I want my wife looking her best as she gracefully ages. I want her to look amazing. I want her to look her best. I want her to feel her best. And I need to do that. I need to do that from the inside out. I take my vitamins. I drink water. I am right now, right now I'm on a detox cleanse and it's one that's a part of my lifestyle. It's not going to be something that's just, oh, just cleanse for, you know, three days or seven days. Okay, so this is an important thing that I really wanted to talk about and what really sparked me into doing this video was that this is breast cancer awareness month and i lost one of my dear friends at the age of 32 to breast cancer and i was like god she's she was like too young she was like she has you know she has children she has a husband she was just starting to like enjoy her marriage and her life and she was you know taken away 
She shared some things with me. I'm not going to say her name because of the privacy of the family. I definitely want to respect them because I don't know if they watch this, but they were very close. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I want to respect the family and let you guys know that she did share that she felt like she could have caught it sooner. So today I want to encourage you guys get your checkups go to the doctor I know it can be scary in terms of I don't want to hear any bad news but let's just put this scenario out there would you rather have a situation that if you catch it early enough you can fix rather than a worse situation that can't be reversed and I just want to admonish everyone if you if you feel like something is wrong if you feel like you need some confirmation of what you're feeling is in fact something if you're hurting if you are you know achy if it feels different if you don't feel normal go to the doctor I highly recommend if you have health care let me just put that out there if you have health care go to the doctor okay because that's what is set up for you want to be at your best I just recently went to the doctor and she wrote a prescription for me to go to the gym it is a part of my health to go to the gym during my pregnancy both of my pregnancies I had gestational diabetes and the in the risk of getting diabetes is greater for a woman who's had gestational diabetes so as I get older I could get I could contract diabetes if I don't control my weight if I don't control my eating habits and so um, that is a concern to me but I had my doctor which it's important I'd rather run on a, tr on a tre treadmill I'd rather work out than to have to pop pills that I don't have to for pain or for anything else or if I have to get medicine or I've had to have to be in the hospital when it could be could have been prevented if I would have like been proactive and been more preventative in like those health issues than not so I just want to admonish you guys don't be scared to go to the doctor that's what they're there for and take your faith with you okay believe still believe God but still do what you need to do they're professionals they're there but we of course have a higher power so if in fact there's something going on there was something on going on with me and I didn't even realize but I if I would not have gone to the doctor and I'm just giving this testimony I love giving you guys testimonies about things that have happened whether it's in my life or someone else's so you can learn from them I went to the doctor this is again about my daughter and I felt like something wasn't right and I was getting people saying oh that's normal oh yeah that symptom is normal I was like no I woke up and I was like something is wrong something is weird and so I went to the doctor and I knew something was wrong when the doctor went out I had my my uh, checkup you know you check for the baby the heartbeat and everything and so she checked me and she walked out she was like can you hold on just a second and she walked out and she brought in another doctor and I was like something is wrong when they bring in two doctors okay and the doctor told me okay we need you to go to the emergency room right now they did not want to tell me why they said the doctor will explain it once you get there I need you to go through emergency either you can go through the ambulance or you can drive yourself over there but you need to go over there now and so to make a long story short after everything had happened I had to deliver the baby um, she was born alive and then she passed away three and a half hours later um, around a family that loved her um, I think that it's important to have people around you when something like that happens and um, unfortunately she passed away but I asked the doctor I went back to the doctor and I was like what did you see to like make me go back she was like you were in labor and didn't know it you didn't feel anything and so you were delivering the baby and you didn't even know it and that was scary to me <laughs> that she's told me but I wouldn't have known that if I did not go to the doctor 
based upon something is not feeling right. She was like, you're not feeling contractions. I was like, no. And afterwards, she was like, if you would have stayed home, this is how devastating it would have been. I would have delivered the baby at home. And I didn't know that my ambiotic sac had uh, burst. Well, it was like, um, it, it was punctured. But I don't know how it was punctured. But um, I was, I, my water had broke and I didn't know it. And that had happened a day, I think a day a, ago. Now, when your water breaks, you are supposed to give birth to your child, to your baby, within 24 hours of that happen. Otherwise, infection can set in. So, for that to happen, it was only by the grace of God that, you know, I went in. I was like, something's not right. Something is going on. I'm feeling kind of weird. And I went in and... You guys, I really do believe that God gives a woman. I don't want to say, um, I don't want to call it intuition. I think it's something, we call it intuition, but I believe God imparted in this body of a female something that is like a self-alarm that lets us know when something's not right, whether it's with someone else or if it's with us. But they give us, he gave, gave us that instinctive gut feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about, ladies to feel certain things to discern those things that are not right and so basically i never told that story that is so crazy but anyway um actually it's not crazy it was for somebody so um we're going to continue putting on skincare but while we talk but this is the physician's formula rose all day i do have a review about this on my channel and i will put it it's like one of the best investments from the drugstore that you could ever find and I love it so much. Self-care is just not about getting in a spa robe and saying, putting on some music. Self-care is taking care of yourself. You know, if you have to go walking, like my body was not ready for aerobics. It wasn't ready for like high level, um, high level workouts. You know, it wasn't ready for those things. Go walking. That is such a relaxing thing. Um, do yoga. Do Pilates. I love Pilates. Um, and so that's what I'm doing now. So my doctor has a written form. And through that, I took it to my insurance. And they are paying for my gym membership. And someone was talking about that. I want to say Happy Stylish Mom here on YouTube said something about that. And I went and sure enough. I had no idea that the doctor would do that and because of her recommendation, thank you girl, um, I was able to get my insurance to pay for my gym membership. So there you go. This is the Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops. I'm putting on two serums today. And then I have my Fleur and Beat. That was the eye cream. Then I also have the moisturizer. Those items are under $30. So those are pretty amazing for being natural products. You should be seeing something soon about them. But I have had them in favorites videos. I do have a sleep lavender vanilla this is from bath and body works this is from their apothecary line this is their natural essential oil body lotion this is so great for your feet i do have some um oil on my feet i have some cuticle oil right now this is the vitamin e infused from ncla they're on instagram and um i wanted to put those on but this baby okay i don't have the jade the jade roller but i do have this this is a massage roller roller from the body shop it is 12 dollars. it is amazing amazing it's like having two jade rollers and it massages the muscle on top on top bottom and in between here so it just pulls everything up i think i did like a demo and did it on one side and you saw the whole side left versus the other side so this takes out all the drainage and it has these cooling like I would say almost like medicine balls I guess that's what you would call it 
So basically, after I've put on all of the skincare, I go into this. And this is just going to allow everything to sink into the skin. I take it between that brow, that cheekbone, excuse me, that cheekbone and the cheek uh, right here. It actually comes with instructions I think you do this like five times three circles around so I go all the way around my face for I'm very gentle around the eye then I go this way around the brow bone of course I'm doing this with music as I do this. Okay, so lastly, I want to share with you guys a couple of things. Like I said, this I put on my feet. I actually use this on my husband's feet. You can give yourself a massage. You can give your husband a massage. Um, I really like this. Um, and it has lavender oil, vanilla absolute, and it calms the mind and encourages relaxation. So I really like this. And then also, this is from... The body shop this is sandalwood and ginger this is a body room and linen spritz so you can put this on your linen and it makes your sheet smell really nice i think that that's really nice when you're going to bed and to have some scent into the room give you nice a nice ambiance you can even make it a romantic ambiance if you want to go there you know what i'm saying but this is body room and linen so you can sharpen your senses and this one is sandalwood and ginger so you can use this even on your body it smells really nice before we go i want to share with you guys that derma e as well is an amazing brand it's one of my favorite i did not share some of the other things just because i've shared them so many times on my channel but this is something new that i am using and this is the vitamin c con concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid this is from their vitamin c line it is really really good highly recommend you guys use some vitamin c during the day and finally get some vitamin d go out get some sunshine it helps the endorphins it actually helps brighten and lighten your day and your spirits and um get out there in nature and really you know connect with god i think the more you see nature and his creation you really tend to appreciate just being in the moment sometimes we're we're rushing so much i can definitely say that during that tragic time in my life even until even to the point of being you know pregnant with my son elijah i would take walks i was outside I would hear, you know, the birds, I would feel the breeze. Sometimes just like close your eyes and feel the breeze. Hear the ocean. Listen to what God has to say and tell him some things. Write down your dreams and your hopes and your vision. Write the vision, make it plain. Put it on tablets. Write it in your notebook. Write in your journal so you can see your journey and that you'll appreciate. And others, you can tell others where you've been. So when you've come out of the fire of your test and trial, you'll know that you made it. That you took the time for you and you enjoyed the journey. And although you had sacrifice and although there was turmoil you still made it through and so i just want to say to you congratulations <laughs> on being the new you you do not have to start the new year off with new year's resolution start today start right now saying that i'm gonna do I, you know the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna take better care of myself i'm gonna get some vitamins i'm gonna take care i'm gonna make sure that my energy level is good i'm gonna get like some ample sleep I'm going to take a nap today. 
I, I, I'm going to do nothing today. When people work hard, that's one of the hardest things for them to do is do nothing. Sometimes that is the most joyous moment in time is doing nothing and just enjoying the moment, not being caught up in the turmoil, turmoil of life, not being caught up in the craziness and the chaos that's around us, but really looking on that inner man and that inner woman and saying, I am worth what God made me. He made me fearfully. He made me wonderfully. And I am grateful, God, that you made me and who you made me and who you made me for. And I thank you for the service that I'm giving to others. And thank you for those that you have brought my way to pour into me, to let me know that you still love me and so i hope you guys enjoyed this courageous conversation i know it may be hard to hear but finally tell the truth to yourself that you do need to take time for yourself and in the comments let me know one thing that you're gonna do to take care of yourself i love you guys i'll see you in the next one